Today's topic is a game changer for anyone dealing with hair loss. And we're talking about a condition that affects millions of people worldwide. Alopecia areata. Whether you or someone you know is going through this, you're going to want to stick around because we're diving into some groundbreaking treatments that could turn things around. What's up guys? My name is Sabrina and I was diagnosed with alopecia. My form of alopecia that I was diagnosed with is called scarring alopecia. So for the month of September, it being Alopecia Awareness Month, I have been bringing awareness by bringing certain information about alopecia. And today we are talking about alopecia areata. What is alopecia areata? Imagine waking up one day and finding chunks of your hair missing. Sounds scary, right? Well, that's the reality for many people with this autoimmune condition. Your body's immune system mistakenly attack your hair follicles, causing your hair to fall out, sometime in clumps. This can happen on your scalp, your face, even your body, and it's unpredictable. Some people experience hair loss that comes and goes alopecia areata can affect men women people of all ages though they say it's most common in your teens like in your 20s or 30s but here's where it gets exciting for the longest time there was no fda approved treatment in 2022, the FDA approved treatments for severe alopecia areata. There are two FDA approved treatments for people who are diagnosed with alopecia areata. The first big win in 2022 is a drug called Illuminant. This is a once a day pill that make a huge difference for adults dealing with severe hair loss. And here's the cool part. In clinical trials, nearly 40% of people taking this drug saw more or even all of their hair grow back within 36 weeks. That's amazing. Then in 2023, they came out with another drug called Rylitinin. This drug is super exciting because it's the first treatment available for teens as young as 12 years old. So how are they saying these drugs work? These drugs belong to a class of medication called JAK inhibitors. These drugs are designed to block specific signals in your body that leads to inflammation inflammation, basically stopping the immune system from attacking your hair follicles. So if you're diagnosed with alopecia areata, it's important to have an open conversation with your doctor to see if these medication are right for you. But knowing that these treatments are out there, that's a huge step forward. And I'm so excited for people who are diagnosed with alopecia areata that they have uh, some type of drug that can possibly help them to regrow their hair as opposed to the condition that I have, which is scarring alopecia. And they're saying there is no treatment at all. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. And of course, drop a comment below if you try any of these treatments or if you have any questions, we're all in this together. I'll love to hear your stories. I'll see you in my next one and peace out.